You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face mm -hmm. for Greater Brockton. I have Anna Figueroa. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay, welcome. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Good and afternoon. I met you before, and I saw mm -hmm. the wonderful young women that are going to be part of your Latin teen pageant. Yes. Okay, so there is a Latin Women's Association. Yes, there here is. Here in Brockton. Yes. Um, and it's it's transforming itself before our eyes and growing in strength and numbers. And yes, this is, is kind of like a big kind of kickoff during Hispanic Month? Heritage Month, Her yes. Hispanic Heritage yes. Month, okay. Yes. So we're talking October 1st. Yes. But tell us what you're trying to do. Okay. Um, we at the Latin Women's Association of Brockton, um, our main goal is to serve the Latin community. Mm -hmm. Um, with any issues they have as far as immigration, um, appointments, um, going to any, any, in any aspects that we can help the Latino community. They, they can come to our office. It's located on 1367 South Main Street, mm -hmm. second floor. Uh, we are open from Monday to Friday from 10 to 3. Okay. Um, anyone is welcome to come in, fill out an application, discuss um, any issues that they need help with, um, we are there. Um, we are trying to get the Latin community together, Okay. the Latino community here in Brockton. Um, it's been many years since there's been a center here. Yes. Um, the Latin Women's Association has been going now for one year. Mm -hmm. um, we are getting involved in everything. We are involved in the political aspects of the things that are going on in Brockton sure. that affect the Latino community um, with, the, with our immigrants, with our children in school, mm -hmm. um, and any aspect that we can help the Latino community to make them feel comfortable enough to come to our association sure. and let us try to help them with their problems, mm -hmm. we are there. Phone number and website. Do you have or uh, Facebook or whatever? We you have, yeah. You can reach us at the Latin Women's Association via Facebook. Yeah. And you can also uh, reach us at 508-857-0272, yeah. mm -hmm. extension 107. Now, volunteer organization, paid organization, how does it work? No, we are a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. we, um, that's why we have benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, we have um, different events that are going, going to be going on. Um, and that's how we make our money, through right. donations. Sure. Um, we have volunteers that come in to help. Um, our volunteers go out um, to a meeting that maybe one of us couldn't make it, so we always have somebody that will cover a meeting sure. and get back to us, and we always have information present. Um, our current adventure, I must say, was at the City Hall the other day when we um, went up against the Trust Act that they're trying to pass here in Broughton. Mm -hmm. um, First for me, you know, um, got a lot of information, um, learned a lot of things, you know, and um, honestly, I hope that they do uh, pass the Trust Act here in Brockton. Got postponed, right? Yes, it got happen. postponed. It's, it's going to happen later. Yes. So, yes. you know, maybe I, I, I heard there was a little bit of uh, trouble there and maybe people can be educated and, and talk yes. things out and, and, yes. and have a conversation. Yes, okay? yes. Um, I know that's a, and that's a committee of the council. It's not even yes. the full council. The yes. full council will, will vote on it. Yes. So in the meantime, now you said Latin Women's Association. Yes. Can I just ask a question? Yeah. And, and I'm not trying to say anything one way or the other. Mm -hmm. What about the Latin men? Are, they, are, we, are the men welcome too? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Just yes. checking. Yes. We cater to all Latinos, men, women. Children, okay. families. Okay. We cater to all Latinos. You could be of one race Latino. You could be of another race Latino. You are Latino. You can come into our association, and we will be there for you that as best as we can. And that encompasses a lot of countries. Yes. All over. Yes. Well, you know the diversity here in Brockton. Mm -hmm. uh, a big percentage of it is Puerto Ricans. Mm -hmm. You know, the next on the list is Dominicans. Mm -hmm. The third on the list is Mexicans. Okay. What we need to do is get all of our Latinos together here in Brockton. Come out more. Um, be heard. Be seen. You know, participate in your community. And we're going to help you because I've talked to Inez. Thank you. Who is <laughs> one of the nicest people I know. Yes. Who loves to help people and loves yes. to do good. Yes. And 
So whose brainchild is doing this event? I think this is a great This event. is Inez's brainchild. Okay. Um, Inez Figueroa is also my mom. Mm -hmm. She's also the director of the Latin Women's Association. Um, and just to say, this woman does not stop. No. She has retired, but she hasn't stopped. And she's got a lot more to bring to Brockton and our Latino community. So the pageant, yes. October 1st, it's at the new, it's called A Perfect Place. Yep, The Perfect which Place Which is opening, hall. there's a grand opening coming up. I'm not yes. going to say the date so we don't date this because we want to run this all the way up to October 1st. Yes. Uh, it's Fred Fontaine's place yep. over in Kmart Plaza, yep. which is 2089 uh, yep. Main Street. Main Street. It used to be a, a whole bunch of places. It oh, was yeah. Reed's, it was Guido O'Shea's, it was Siciliano's That's back the in the day. That's the one I remember, Guido O'Shea's. Right. And it, he's making a function hall because yes. Brockton does have three, but sometimes yeah. that's not enough. Yep. October 1st is a busy date. You guys get some pretty good competition that day. There are two churches doing events, yep. but these are young women. What are the ages of the young women? The, age, uh, the ages of the women run, I think, from like 14 to 18 okay. years of age. Okay. Yeah. I think th these girls are, all of them are in high school Okay. at, at this moment. And so. is it talent show? Oh, yeah. They, they have to have a talent. They will speak. Um, they will come out with, with a gown. Um, they also have to show a talent. Okay. So there will be judges there asking them questions. They're going to have to answer questions, um, do their talent, and do, yeah. Now let me ask you a question. For someone like me who doesn't speak Spanish and wishes he did, because mm -hmm. my father was born in Cuba. Okay. My mother was born in Boston, so hence we did. Inez told me she's going to teach me. Okay. Because I never took my Spanish class seriously. I should skip it and go to the TV studio, okay. to be honest with you. Um, anybody's welcome. It's not a Hispanic okay. event. It's, it's a no, community no. event. No, it is open to the community of Brockton. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You don't have to be Latino to come to our event, neither this one or any other down the line. Okay. You know, we open our doors to everybody. Is there food at this event? They will be... Um, like, uh, I believe they're going to do like a, a small buffet appetizer kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, because uh, considering the time that we will be having it, you know, it's kind of like after dinner Hispanic time. Hispanic food, though, I hope. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. Well, Mark, you're going to make it difficult. I'm going to have to make something for you, just okay. for you. <laughs> well, I brought my father on Father's Day to the Cuban restaurant in Jamaica Plain. Okay. And he had the time of his life. And then recently I just bought it for him to bring so home. So you know there is a difference between Cuban food and Puerto Rican food, right? But I like both. My, okay. my parents <laughs> for 35 years went to a timeshare in Isla Verde in Puerto Rico. Okay. okay. Yeah, I love, I love all Spanish. Which yeah. one, there's nothing. I like all type, yeah. kinds you of food. Can't it you is? tell? The spice. <laughs> the spice, exactly. So just one more time, we're going to mm. we're gonna give that phone number out again, yep. if you would, so people can call you. That's how they get tickets? Um, to this event, you can call 774-223-5653. Um, okay. That would be for the tickets. Okay. Okay, as far as for the, the event. And the tickets are a reasonable price. They're 20 Yes, they're $20 money for per an person, event. and the appetizers are included. There you go. And the time is 7 p.m. Yes. to 11. 7 to 11, yes. Okay, and I believe it might be the first big event that's happening at a perfect place. At the perfect place, yes. So, yes. and uh, it'll be perfect, right? Of course. There you go. So glad to have you on. Glad thank to help you. promote. And Thanks for having we'll us. We'll have you back on TV. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Pleasure. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.